in this video I'm going to be changing the wheel bearing on a rear hub for a Porsche 996. Um, this one, as you can probably see on there, has got a, a lot of play in the bearing. Um, I've got two hubs I'm going to do, so I've got one set up in the in the press already here. I'm going to be using this, this press to do it, um, along with these devices here which are, are used for pressing out the, the bearings. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is to push out this centerpiece. This one's on the inside of the bearing. So I've, I've got one of these which is the, the right size just to sit inside here. So I've got the, the hub supported on the press, as you can see there. And I'm just pushing down on the center of that. So it's gonna push the hub, the actual drive flange, straight out the center of the bearing. It'll probably take half the bearing with it. I'm just going to um, push that out on here. The drive flange pushed out relatively easily. As expected, it's taken half the bearing with it. I'm going to attempt to get a puller behind that to pull it out. You see on there, there's a little bit of a, a gap around the back. Although more than likely, I'll have to end up cutting that off. But I shall, I shall find out when I get to it. Sometimes I've been able to pull these off, other times they're cut off and back onto the onto the hub itself to get the rest of the the bearing out i've now got to remove this plate and then push it out from the back so i'm just going to undo these four bolts here and then i'll show you what the rest of the bearing looks like now i've got the the bearing cover plate removed from there so as you can see the inside so there's the outer of the bearing so that can now push out so i'm going to put this back in the press and then I'll be using a, a press tool to just push on there so I'm basically going to be pushing the, the centre of the, the bearing out so that should bring the rest of the bearing out of the hub. Now I've got the hub on the press, I've just taken the pressure up on it using a 72mm tool on the bearing in there and then the bearing is supported underneath so that the the hub is supported, but it's not actually sitting uh, on the on the outer case of the bearing. So with that in place, I'm just going to press the bearing out. Just taking the load up, it's currently on about one ton at the moment. So to see how much force it takes before it starts to move. Yeah, that went at about four tons before the bearing started to move. Then we can see where the bearing's popped out underneath. So I'll just keep going until the, the bearing is completely removed from the hub. As you can see, I managed to get the three arm puller on here. There was just enough room around the back of the race to get a grip. I've filled up the hole down the centre of the output flange by using one of these um, these threaded rods on here, which actually has a, a a bearing on the end of it. So that gives me somewhere I can get the the three arm puller attached to. So I'm just going to finish um, winding that on to to pull the rest of the race off. So now I have the hub completely dismantled. So I'll, I'll get this all cleaned up slightly, although it is pretty clean anyway. Need to make sure that this bottom surface is here is clean because the new bearing needs to be able to press up against that. And I shall also clean up this output flange. There's various bits of metal and things inside it from where other bits of work have been done. So that will be cleaned up. And there's one bearing for the bin over there. So when the new bearing arrives, I shall be putting it in the freezer before installation. And I shall probably try to heat up this hub slightly as well. Although with it going on the press, it does tend to, to go in relatively easily. But, uh, I shall try to do that. With the old bearing pressed out and the hub cleaned up, I'm getting ready to refit the new one. So at the moment, the new bearing's um, in the fridge. It um, could also go in the freezer. Basically, it wants to be kept cold and the hub will be heated up at the moment. That's sat on a radiator. So to get it ready, I've just been sizing up the tools I'm going to use to press it in. So I'm just using the old bearing here 
to check the size. So I've, um, I'm using this tool here, which is basically the same diameter as the outer of the bearing. So I'm pushing on the outer race, not on the inner race. So that's going to sit at the bottom. And then to go on to the hub, I have this one here, which is going to sit on the actual hub face. So it's on the outside of, of where the bearing sits. So that's going to go in there. This is um, another hub. It's not the actual one we're pressing on to. So this is a complete hub at the moment. And that's basically going to, to go in there. And then the, the bearing will be pressed on. So I'll, I'll get the, the camera set up ready for that. And then I shall get the, get the bearing out of the fridge, get the hub off the radiator, and they'll be ready to press together. So here I've got my new bearing. And here I've got the housing, which has all been cleaned up, ready to go. So the bearing has been in the fridge and the housing has been sitting on top of a radiator. So this has got to fit on here and make sure it, it goes on nice and squarely. I need to do this reasonably quickly before the heat conducts from the from the housing between the housing and the bearing. Make sure that's all nicely centralised. And then I just watch it as it goes down. That's going on with it's next to no force on that. It's not even registering on the on the pressure gauge. It's down to it's fully home and then it'll start to register on the gauge. see the, the bearing is now seated in there and I'll be able to put the the cover on the front now so that will be bolted on and torqued up correctly and then I'll be able to put the, the actual drive flange on. The retaining plate has now been bolted on tightened up to 37 newton meters on the four bolts so now I'm ready to press the flange on so that's been cleaned up and now I'm pressing on the inner race in here. So rather than pressing on the, the housing itself, which would put a lot of load through the bearing, we're pressing on the inner race. So that's all lined up and ready to go. So just then press that on. Shouldn't require a large amount of force. Just make sure that it, it all goes on squarely. Now we have a new bearing fitted on the hub, so there's now no, no play in that. Spin is nice and cleanly, and that's now ready for fitting back onto the car.